they go. You oh, yeah. at what point you have to answer like General Kenobi, and then you well, know. we did that like really early on, though. Yeah, but that was a long time ago, and I miss it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, just bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> okay, sure. But anyway, we're back. It's been a long time. We haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> I mean, that's true. <laughs> it is true. I don't know why I find it funny. I'm, I swear to God, I, I have a dad lost in me. So like, no, I didn't even think of it as a joke. I was like, that's just a fact. <laughs> it is a fact. It's fair. But it's also a horrible dad joke. And I find it hilarious. It's just <laughs> fun. Divergence is picking out again. I'm like, well, yeah, what about it? It's true. <laughs> Happy New Year, and welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That's Lily K. It's 2023. Woohoo! Welcome, welcome in the new year. Um, I, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. You were, you were very good. You were very good. Uh, <laughs> and uh, of course, we're going to go with, well, I don't know if you can call it tradition, but it is kind of a tradition. At this I, point. I guess at this point, you should just call it format. <laughs> fine <laughs> uh we're gonna of course talk about the most anticipated uh movies and tv shows of this year oh okay um, in which case yes tradition <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> i thought you were going to get into the what have you been watching and i was like well that's just the format <laughs> it's just the format yeah 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 but uh i'm not gonna ask it this time because mm. i'm like meh uh you're gonna just jump right into it but, you know why not I don't know why What's I do this? this. I don't know. <laughs> it's just I'm cool. No, I'm not. So anyways, uh, where should we start? Do you want to start with TV shows or movies? It's your it's your time to um, choose. Uh, I have more TV shows than I do movies, so I think we should do movies first. Okay, let's do movies first. I I also wrote I movies wanna... first. But no, okay, but you can't. It's way too. I can't. It's way I, too I, bright. I but there's the, it's, the movies. It's, are it's first. too bright. Okay, fair. I, I wrote that second, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> I think we, it sounds to me that we both did the thing where we put our priorities, like, <laughs> yeah. like get this oh, one out of the way first, and then I can get into the interesting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Let's do movies, most anticipated movies of 2023, and mm -hmm. we're going to start with you. Oh, how are we let's now? Let's hear those movies. Um, so I have four, because okay. um, I there was a lot of movies that when you google it that come up but m i would say like 90 percent of them were franchise films one of mine is a franchise film technically speaking but it's not one that you would have put down um and i wanted to go for more interest you'll know what it is <laughs> it'll make oh, okay <laughs> you'll make, it'll make a bunch of sense when i say it um and i wanted to go for more uh the more the, the more high profile things that are, um aren't you know sequels as much mm -hmm. as possible apart from one of them which is okay. a sequel <laughs> um so i've started off and i've put i've, I've put barbie at number one barbie okay. <laughs> okay have you not seen the trailer for barbie it looks fucking brilliant it looks brilliant but like i mean it's it's a it's a trailer <laughs> but it like I'm, I see. I've been fascinated by the concept of this movie since they announced that it was happening. It was like they're making a Barbie movie. I was like, okay, sure. It's being written and directed by Greta Gerwig. What? <laughs> yeah. And then you've got the cast with um with with Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie and Simu Liu and Nshiti Gatwa and and a uh, bunch of fucking. I think um. What's her face also in um, Sex Education? Who kind of looks like Margot Robbie? Who wasn't <laughs> Emma Mackey? Is I think yes. she's also in it. Um, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, it just the 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 cast is bonkers. If you ever read anything that that um, Ryan Gosling has said about taking the job, it's some of the funniest things you'll ever read in your life. He basically has called it a genius script. Um, and he, he said, he, I can't actually find the, the quote or something like that, but uh, to paraphrase, he said something like he finished the script, went outside and found uh, his daughter's Ken doll smushed face down in the mud next to a, a, a squashed lemon. And that's when he knew he had to take the job. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, that's a good that's sign. Ken, <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> 
And then the trailer came out and it was so not, I mean, I didn't know, I had no concept of what I was expecting, but the fact that it's like yeah. this incredible, um, <laughs> like parody homage to 2001 A Space Odyssey. I was just like, I'm obsessed with this already. I'm so, I'm, let's do it. I'm, I'm, I will watch this. It seems great. And I was not a Barbie kid. I need to put I that mean, out there. It, 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 this is not a nostalgia thing. I'm just fascinated on like a purely, like honestly, a m- m- mostly intellectual level. Because <laughs> I don't, I'm, I have no idea what the fuck this movie's meant to be. We're going to find out. I know. <laughs> I'm excited about it. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Okay. I like that choice. Okay. What's next? What's next? Oh, no. I thought, let's just jump back and forth. You do, you do one. I don't want to talk. I have about many. It. Yeah, I know. Go f- do one. All right. Um, I am stupidly excited for this one. Uh, like, I literally have a countdown on my iPad, counting back the days when I can watch it. It's 65. If you don't know what 65 is, uh, because you haven't seen the trailer or any news about it, it's Adam Driver. Uh, with a space weapon killing dinos back in, you know, 65 million years ago on Earth. Uh, and uh, the first thing that convinced me, and I already talked about this, is that it it jumped up on TikTok. Uh, it was like a 20 second, or not even 20 seconds, but like 15 second clip. Uh, and there was this quote that from the writers of The Quiet Place. Done. <laughs> I was like, I'm sold. <laughs> I'm watching this. I don't know what this is. I am watching this. I didn't even realize at that point that that was Adam Driver in there. Uh, I had to watch it like one more time. And I was like, hold on. I think that's Adam Driver. And it is Adam Driver. And then uh, and then the full trailer came out. And it turns out that it, that it because it was obvious that it's going to be some kind of monster in there from mm-hmm. that short little teaser. But then when it, it turned out that it's fucking dinosaurs, I was like, oh, my God. It's my dream coming true. It was very funny. You sent me the, the the trailer, and I couldn't watch the whole thing properly, so I watched like the first like maybe twenty seconds of it, and I was like, oh yeah, this feels very Lily. And then I went back later, and I watched the full thing. And I was like, wait, this has got fucking dinosaurs! In it? <laughs> oh, it's so Lily. Because <laughs> I just thought it was some kind of survival, like you know, sci-fi thing akin to Alien, you know. That was the, the impression of it. But then it's like, no, dinosaurs. No, dinosaurs. I was like, oh my God, yes. Like, you know, I have even, I will, I will put it like this. Even if it's not going to be like fucking great movie. Like, um, let's, let's say that even if they can bring in the same atmosphere that A Quiet Place brought in, because I think that's like one of the strongest, uh, monster horror atmosphere lately uh i think it's just gonna be a ton of fun mm. that's what i expect from it, it looks like, like it should be fun it should be fun uh i would be even more thrilled if it's gonna be proper survivor horror i'm gonna be very happy then because i said this many times whenever we talked about jurassic park or jurassic world uh i want a dino horror movie that's what I want. And and that's why I was like bonkers. <laughs> and I realized that this has dinosaurs and the 65 stands for 65 million years ago. And I was like, I'm game. I'm, I am so fucking excited. <laughs> and it's been like, I didn't take a screenshot. I should have. But I think it was either on Saturday or Sunday when we hit the 65 days to go <laughs> mark on 65 and i was like yes <laughs> small victories so just, yeah just little things that make you happy <laughs> so happy so yeah 65 with adam driver so happy about it actually oh, to anyway. be fair my next one you probably might you, you you might have on your list as well just considering who who's making it um it's part of the reason i put barbie on here because it's out on the same day it's oppenheimer obviously not then yeah I'm just yeah. very I the, the concept of the fact these two these two movies are coming on the same day. Mm-hmm. The most bonkers double bill. I'm very excited about this concept. Yeah. <laughs> First you're gonna sit in to watch Barbie and then you go or and watch the other way around. I feel like the, or other, the other way, way around, around makes more sense. <laughs> maybe. 
maybe, emotionally maybe. speaking. Okay. You finish Oppenheimer and be like, wow, I can't hear anything anymore because apparently he's managed to recreate the first atomic blast without CG. Nolan, you don't need to do this. <laughs> My ears? No, it's, they don't need it's, it. It's, Chris <laughs> it's Christopher Nolan. It's not necessary. Nobody's asking you to do this. It's like he went, I'm going to create the first most accurate uh you know it's the same decibels i think that they managed to get uh yeah. and, and if somebody went you know you don't need to do that he goes no no i'm gonna it's a very nolan thing to do let's be fair it's a very nolan thing to do i'm not i'm it's, not surprised gonna... about it but i'm like fuck's sake dude Look, he's gonna do practical whenever he can easy as that but also he needs to apparently blow my ears out <laughs> yes of course <laughs> um, but I mean, the trailer came out and it looks very good, and I love Kim. We both love Killing Murphy here. Um, uh, the the I, it seems there's more time fuckery going on because Nolan can't write anything in chronological order. Um, he's allergic I to he? it, I think. Um, <laughs> would he? Like, um, come on, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm honestly, it it sounds very interesting. It's got really great cast and all that sort of stuff. It mostly just. Uh, makes me uh, it, it amuses me because it's coming out on the same day as Barbie and it's coming out on the same day as Barbie both in the US and the UK but they're not on the same day if that makes sense so it's coming out earlier I think in the US than it is in the UK or vice versa okay. but they're both still coming out on the same day okay I think it's gonna I think it's gonna happen here as well so you know I'm gonna be double billing for sure <laughs> I'm just excited this, and plus they're both coming out it's like July so it's like proper summer yeah movies yeah. July? Yeah, when is it? It's July. Well, it's either the 16th or the 21st. I've seen both dates. Okay. I'm, I'm, then I'm going to be watching it here because uh, I'm going to be in the UK during the uh, around the 10th, I think. Because that's when Comic Con is happening. So yeah. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm going to watch it there. But nope, apparently not. I'm going to be watching it here. <laughs> Rip. Fair, fair. All right. Yeah. It's on my list so I can just... Take that one off. I think it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I realize you go next. I, I really like the fact that, um, and that's what I'm going to add to it, that um, mm. Christopher Nolan said that he thinks uh, Robert Downey Jr. is one of the best actors he ever worked with. And he's going to prove it to everyone here. And I don't I know like, if I knew he was in it. I feel like maybe I did, yeah. but it's not something that's been at the front of my mind. In my head, in the, the people I think of when I think of Oppenheimer at the moment are Killing Murphy, because obviously he's playing Oppenheimer. And then the other side is, yeah. I know that Jack Quaid's in it, and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Rami Malek is in it as well. Also great. It's it's a star-studded cast again. Um, and uh, I think this is the role that Robert Downey Jr. lost all that weight for, I believe. Okay. Because he's very skinny now. Like, very, very skinny. Mm. Um, also, he not 100% head. sure. Yeah, that's for another role. He looks strangely like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> he looks very weird. I, I didn't odd. recognize him. He posted him at a first. picture of himself with his lovely wife, and I was like, and it, like I was like, he looks like Jeff Bezos, and then looked at the comments, and everybody was like, why does he look like Jeff Bezos? I was like, okay, yeah, so it's not just go. me. That's cool. <laughs> okay, fair, fair, fair. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited uh, yeah. because obviously I love Christopher Nolan. He's my favorite director. So yeah, I of course I have a love hate it. relationship with Christopher Nolan, but I appreciate the fact that he's like. You know, a filmmaker's filmmaker, and he mm -hmm. in that in that way. I may not get on with everything that he does, but I appreciate the role that he plays within the industry. You know, I'm gonna say next, um, Ant Man and the Wasp. Wasp. I Wasp. You'd say that. What am What am I talking about? <laughs> Ant Man and the Wasp. Quantum Mania. I am terrified. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am because it's the third movie. And so far, in every third movie, we either lost someone, lost something, uh, in in everything. In Thor Ragnarok, in uh, 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 Captain America: Civil War, uh, whatever third installment they had, that was always some kind of loss. And uh, there are people talking about uh, the possibilities. Uh, I am very afraid. That this might be the end for end men. So on lovely Paul Rod. Because I like the trailer didn't grab me all that much. I was like, okay. But also I haven't really been big on I mean, I love Paul Rod. I find him he's just infinitely watchable. But yeah. the Ant Man movies have not really done much for me since I love the, the Ant Man movies. One. 
I have not rewatched any of them since. Um, I, I mean, I'll go, I'll see this obviously, but like, it's, yeah, it, it's the reason I didn't. I haven't really put any of the Marvel. I haven't put any of the Marvel movies on my list because I was. I have them all here. I'm. I, I'm gonna be. I'm like. I will go and see them. I'm perfectly. You know. I'm not even thrilled. I'm just like, yeah, I'll see that. It's. I'm. I'm not anticipating it. You know, because I'm like, yeah, it's gonna come out. I will go and watch it. That's about as far as I've gotten at the moment. We'll see what happens. I am. I am. So, in it. In a way that, you know, obviously this is where we're going to see uh, Jonathan Majors as That is probably the only guy. thing that's like, I'm like, okay, yes. And yes. if, <laughs> if well, we, we are going with the narrative that he's going to be the big bad uh, after Thanos. And I think for them to establish that, that he is this incredibly hard to defeat enemy, I think we're going to have some kind of loss in this movie and I'm and I'm a, I'm a tiny bit afraid that it's going to be Ant-Man because from the trailer from the foreshadowing and everything mm. it kind of looks that it. way I see it and I'm like that would, that would that would honestly that would really suck it would really suck I'm just because I mean he was he was he was gone for five years he's only just managed to get back if we're gonna make him a bigger threat that than Thanos was he kind of has to kill somebody kill and man yeah. or somebody somebody but but to have an impact i think it, it kind of has to be ant-man I mean, at the it, end of the day I, I would be i would be very impressed if they kill ant-man in this movie i will put it that let's put it that way yeah uh but we're gonna see uh i i honestly can't wait to watch it i love both ant-man movies uh, i had a ton of fun with them i just love ball rod i think i do just love great <laughs> look at us just... <laughs> who would have thought yeah <laughs> So hey, so yeah, I'm I'm yeah. just yeah, you know, I'm I'm just really excited to see what they came up with. I'm gonna see soon, very soon, because it's coming out in February. So yes, oh god, it's really soon, Jesus. It's really soon, yeah. Uh, so yeah, and then and the wasp, wasp. Yeah, can I say that word? It's so annoying. Wasp. Your turn. No, Go actually, ahead. I think because you've probably got another Marvel movie in there, I want you to say. Uh, I I have a fi- you've you've got another Marvel movie in there, right? Two other Marvel movies in here. I feel like we should follow up with another Marvel movie just because we're on the subject. Because, okay. like I said, I don't have any in here, and you've already got more than me, so we may as well. All right. So it's my favorite team. Yes. Of Misfits. Uh-huh. Guardians of the Gal- Galaxy. Yep, there it is. Volume three. <laughs> uh, I know that there's got to be losses here, and I am already incredibly upset, especially after that Christmas special that they did <laughs> or holiday special, let's call it that. Um, because I just grew to love them even more and it made me realize once again how much I fucking love them. Um, I know, we know for a fact that uh, Dave Bautista is... He's done. Done. He's done. Uh, so... And you know what? Respect. I appreciate that. Obviously, yes, but like, I love Drex. I love him. Yeah, I just, I, I was like, I, when I saw the quote, I was kind of like, yeah, good for you. Hundred mm-hmm. percent, like you know, do you? I mean, he's he's great. He's easily the uh, the best uh, VBE actor that came out from the whole industry, easily. And I am very happy for him because he's doing amazing things. He's got some uh, great stuff under his belt, and I think yeah, he gets a chance I... to do some really interesting stuff now. Um, yeah, yeah. Because he wants to do more dramatic love... stuff, and I'm really I'm looking forward to see him do that. Absolutely, but I love tracks, so I'm going to be very sad. I think I'm going to cry throughout the whole movie. I have this horrible feeling because I watched that trailer and I'm already so upset. Uh, I think Rocket is probably a goner as well. Uh, I am not sure about Peter, but it would be it would be kind of a low blow to kill him uh, now. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, we're not going to see them together after this one again. So mm. it's like it's. I'm so upset. <laughs> Ready? I I you will say it again. for a movie because yeah I'm 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 I very much enjoyed the first one. I went to the second one in a really bad mood, <laughs> just generally, and I I was really like yeah about a lot of it. And then I there were a couple of bits in the middle that make, did make me laugh. And I actually there's a lot of the concept of the second one that I really like, but um I haven't been i mean i haven't had a, the, the urge to really watch any of the marvel stuff recently um generally but um the rocket 
like backstory stuff. I am look I'm looking forward to. Plus, my best friend's a big Same. fan of Rocket, so uh, this is very much a movie that's made for her. <laughs> I'm just happy that we're getting Gamora back. So I'm very happy about that. It's going to be very interesting to see what they're going to do with her character now that it's a different Gamora. And I'm just glad that Zoe is back. I love Zoe. Uh, well documented. You know. Yes. And uh, my boy. My boy is going to make uh, uh, do his debut in this one. And that's Will Porcher as Adam Warlock. Oh, so yes. so I'm, I can't wait. I can't. And he's gold. He's gold. He's gold. As he should be. As he should be. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, very excited for for the Guardians. I am very sad that it's going to be their last movie together. But I can't wait to watch it. Nonetheless. Presumably, your third Marvel movie is the Marvels. Should we just go over that real quick yes. as well? Just because we're in the Marvel yes. space. Yes. I, I I just can't wait to see Brie uh, and and just all of them uh, t- I, don't, I love Brie Larson. I think she's doing such a great job uh, as Captain Marvel. I hate that uh, uh, she made the comment that, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be needed again. So I don't know if I'm going to play the role again after this one, mm. uh, which is obviously a reference to the internet hate that she's getting still. Very annoying and very immature and just stupid all the way down. Uh, but I think... Like, you know, we're going to have Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and Monica Rumble uh, in in there. Like, three, uh, three. I can't speak today. I don't know if you noticed. I can't I can speak today. Uh, three fantastic women all together. And I just can't wait to watch it. We don't know much about the story. Uh, we don't know uh, what's really going to happen in it or, or who's the villain in it or whatever. But I think it's it's just going to be fun and interesting to see where they're going to take it. So can't wait to watch it. Cool. I don't yeah. really have anything to add. <laughs> um, my next uh, um, my little list. Okay, these aren't actually ordered. They're just in the order of, of the ones that I thought of. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I've got the Dungeons and Dragons movie. What is that again? Oh my god. I am so I fucking love... excited about this fucking film. I love the marketing that they are doing it for it. So it's just brilliant. Fun. It looks so fun. When yeah. the trailer came out, I was like, yes, this is a D&D movie. Let's do it. <laughs> Chris Pine's playing just some insane... I, he it, they keep saying he's a bard. I think he's a rogue. I think he's secretly a rogue. Or maybe he's like some kind of weird subclass, but I think he's secretly a rogue. How do you say uh, his name? The guy who's in Bridgerton. Is it is it Rick? It's... It, it's not Renee, it's re- Reggae. It's not, it's not that either. No, I can never say his name, so don't ask me. <laughs> John Page. <laughs> John Page. We're, not, we're just going to use that. I, I don't think I've heard it spoken that often. I've only seen it written down. And nah. I, I'm like, I genuinely yeah. don't know. I'm so sorry. Jay? 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 I don't know. Let's not, let's not botch his name. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, but very fun. I just, I mean, the whole thing looks ridiculous. It's got fucking, there's a gelatinous cube in it. I can't believe. <laughs> and Hugh um, Grant. And Hugh Grant. Playing some kind of lich king i guess i'm not sure i'm I'm just making guesses here but it looks like a such a good time and uh yeah. i i'm i'm just very excited to go see a very silly movie that celebrates D D, uh which is very important at the moment because it, it, the licensing is getting absolutely fucked uh you need to if you're at all curious look up anything to do with open D D on uh twitter and the internet because uh the license deal that they're trying to put in place is shit and stupid and it's gonna fuck everybody over generally speaking so just mm. keep D D open thank you very much um the next one for me is shazam i'm an idiot again i did i was like what what are the franchises shazam i did to be fair yes. In terms of think franchisey movies, this one actually is further up there for me. I love Zachary Levi. I have for years. And the first Shazam He's movie so... was so just surprisingly heartwarming. Yeah. Um I really like the first it one. Was just, it was just so... fun. So yeah, I'm I'm yeah. forward with this. I, I I mean they they brought in freaking Helen Mirren and Lucy Lou. So I'm like oh, I do love Lucy Lou. Do you? I love Lucy Liu, so I'm like, I'm so happy that they're going to be in it. I don't even care if it's just, once again, a ton of fun with a sparkle of horror set and and I'm happy. I'm happy. 
I just want to have fun, mm. and that's it. And this that's is the what year I of fun. From this movie. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't get me wrong. I love myself some drama. I love, I love horror movies. I love action films and everything. But at the same time, sometimes I just need fun. Yeah. Just like pure fun, yeah. nothing else. Fun. So I'm like, I looked at the trailer. Uh, uh, I, I looked at things that uh, they had to say about the movie and whatnot. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, fun, yeah. good. I want to see it. <laughs> it. I did. I genuinely, really, really liked the first one. So I'm like, yay, he's back. The first one back. has a 21 Pilot song in the soundtrack, so I, I, it kind of gets a little boost, generally speaking, for me. I'm on a little bit of a re kick on 21 Pilots at the moment because they did a 10th anniversary. As of recording this, it was last night, but when you see this, it will have been Sunday. It was the 10th anniversary of Vessel, which was their first studio album. Um, so okay. I've been re-listening to 21 Pilots and it was it was a lot of the stream was just a lot of fun it was very silly um, and they played all of the album um, I say they it was Tyler because Josh kept having to go back to his car and find his drum kit uh, my last one on my list and I know you're not going to be interested in this but I'm very interested in it it's Mission Impossible 7 I understand you you don't like him that's fair I just like the Mission Impossible movies because they're some that's of the fair. they're some of the best action movies that we've been getting in the past few years they're mm. always spectacularly made i get to watch simon peg for a few hours that's always a bonus <laughs> oh. i mean i do love simon um it's true. And they've just <laughs> genuinely made great films since like basically four um four, four was kind of the turning point because they, they started putting humor into them yeah um and then obviously uh chris mcquarrie took over for five and five is still my favorite personally mm. um mm. It, it was one of my favorite cinema experiences ever just because the, there was this moment where everything like the movie went silent and the whole room was like i've never heard a room that still before mm. and it, it's like mm. burned into my memory of how fucking cool it was um and i'm just really excited for this one it was meant to come out last year and then they delayed it for a year so this is part one of a like two-part sort of finale and then next one will come out next year and that that's mm. it they're not making any more Oh, interesting. Interesting. No, it's kind of no the beginning of the impossible. end. Okay. I don't know. They've been That's teasing some fucking stunt with Tom Cruise driving off a cliff on a motorcycle. Uh, and I was like, okay, I'll just see this when it comes out. I don't... This doesn't seem as interesting as when he did that, like, Halo dive. Um, but, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? I was also like, this seems like a waste of motorcycles, but go off, I guess. <laughs> But I'm very much looking forward to this one. And again, it's another summer movie, so this is like one of basically my my sort of July period is going to be Barbie Oppenheimer in, in Mission Impossible. Um, it's got some name. It's not Dual Destinies, despite the fact that that's what keeps coming into my head because that's a that's a fucking Ace Attorney game. Um, uh, hang on, what is it called? Mission Impossible Dead something, Dead Reckoning. That's what it's called. I watched the first John Wick movie, but I didn't like. I liked it, oh, and I basically I love Keanu Reeves. Um, oh, oh. but I, I, maybe it was just the vibe, the way I watched it. I don't know. I just, it didn't grab me in the way I feel like it, I feel like I also heard the entire plot before I saw it, you know, that um, first one. Um, yeah. I, I, freaking, I, I freaking love John Wick. I, I think it's, you know, Keanu is just so great. And obviously chapter four is coming out this year. So very exciting. It's not on my list. Not on but... the list, but yeah, I saw it on a lot of things. Again, it's, it, I, like I said, I've only ever, I've only saw the first one, and it was like, yeah, it was that was fun. Again, I didn't, I probably didn't watch it in what would be referred to as the correct settings. Uh, it was like ten in the morning. <laughs> no, yeah, and I watched it not the best. in bed on my little tiny <laughs> oh, yeah. TV. Um, oh no, oh no. Come it's on. Not actually, that's just, the TV's not that small. Um, not that small. That's true. That's true. Comparatively right, but... to the TV that's downstairs, it's quite small. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. All right, I have one more. One on more. List, and then we can we can jump on. Go to the TV. TV the last one is across the Spider Verse. Oh, okay. you know, I nearly put. I th I thought about that and I didn't put it on the list. I was like, I am actually looking forward to that. One. I didn't write it. It down. has to be there. Come on, it has to be there. The the first one was like oh, it's fucking genius. It's amazing. Uh, and I honestly just can't wait what they're going to do with this one because we're getting a lot more Spider-Man. So much stuff. Like, There's like six animation styles that are going to go on in this movie. I think so, yeah. Six? six? I think yeah, it was six. six. seven or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonkers. So like, just, I mean, you know. The soundtrack for the first one was amazing. The whole story was amazing. I love yeah. Spider-Man. 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, I, I love Spider-Man too. <laughs> I know we were like, talking about games, but funnily enough, Spider-Man 2 should be coming Spider-Man out 2's. this year. Yeah. It's, and, it's the and, second year of Spider-Man. Let's go. And that uh, Spider-Man, uh, the PlayStation Spider-Man, is mm-hmm. also in this movie. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Fun times. Uh, when, when I spotted him, I was like, <laughs> Yuri! <laughs> I'm so excited. I just, it looks great. Honestly. I mean, it looks stunning. It's just... And they aged them up. I was so happy. And in such it's a like... beautifully subtle way where you're like, yes, that person's older, but it still looks like the same person. Yep. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good like, stuff. Yes. yes, please do that more animation. Why Oscar please. Isaac's in this movie? Come on. Come on, man. No. I know. I'm like, yes. It, it has to be really good. I mean, I, mean, I, I feel if... like it can't really fail. Which feels like it, setting it up for failure, but like I feel yeah. like it can't. The, uh, the, you know, yeah, the gut feeling. I feel like this move. there's no way this movie can be bad. Yes, hoping. Fingers crossed. Everything. I don't have I'm, any words really... to touch, but... Um... I do. You do it for me. Okay. Oh, I'm, wait, no, I'm with you. There you go. There you. Do it. Sorry, there's okay, a dress there behind me. <laughs> Let's jump on to TV shows, TV please. Shows. Uh, and the list Shall of... I get the one that I know that you're not going to care about at all out of the way, just so we can like s- smash through it? Go ahead. Which is season three. I am looking forward to it. Let's go. I know it's his last season, but I'm still looking forward to it. Yasuke is getting his own fucking storyline this season. He might be falling in love. I'm thrilled. Let's go. This is the year of Jerry Beatty. <laughs> Funnily enough. More Yasuke uh, songs? Yes, good stuff. I picked up two pop figures today. Mm-hmm. And then uh, as I took down uh, the Falcon pop figure, mm-hmm. guess who was behind him? Was it my boy? Yes. <laughs> just like, oh, Katie would love this. Wait, is it? Was it the red one or the blue one? The blue one. Oh wow, the blue one's more rare. That's fun. I have yeah. the red one. So, now like, oh, there you go. There I just, go. I love this gear. I mean, I, I, I know you do. I, I've been thinking about this recently because I've been playing. I've, I've finally gone. I've finally managed to get my bloody hands back on my save file for The Witcher Three because I start, I got very close to the end about a year ago, and then. I lost access to my save file, but with the next gen uh, update, they introduced cross saving, so I've managed to get my hands back on it again. There you um, go. Uh, so I've been playing through it, and I, I know you, you don't really agree, but I really like the way that they make the world of The Witcher in the show. There's something really, um, I don't know, nice about it. Uh, not nice, I don't know. It's just something that I feel very comforted by, and I'm not, I'm aware that it's not great in places, and I'm not saying it's, <laughs> it is. Um, Blood Origin itself was incredibly flawed, but I still had fun with it. Um, uh, and it really did not, it really did not deserve the insanely low scores it was getting. Like, it was not that bad. I have seen the, <laughs> just calm down. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't watched it, so I can't talk I mean, about it. The, 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 the plotting got a bit loose by the end. Uh, not even loose. It just, it just collapsed under the weight of its own plot at the end. Like there was a lot of stuff mm. that was going on, and it didn't quite. It wasn't. It didn't have the tempos to be able to hold it up properly. Probably because it yeah. took out two episodes in the middle, um, and you can kind of you can really feel that it was meant to be six episodes. They suddenly, but then they redid a bunch of reshoots to try and make it four, and it it kind yeah. of didn't work in a lot of places. But the characters were really interesting, they, and they were really good. There's a, a wonderful. I cannot. I don't know the woman's name, but she plays a dwarf woman named uh, Meldorf, and she's fucking brilliant. Honestly, one of the best parts of the whole series. Um, just like this, like insane, slightly unhinged dwarf with a hammer called mm. Gwen who just like smashes the shit out of people. I'm, I'm obsessed with her. I love her so much. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to the third season of The Witcher. I'm just looking forward to it. That's all. You do you. I will. I don't. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's for me. If you've got anything on your list that you know I'm not going to care about, you should say it now. I mean, you're probably not going to care about it because you haven't watched it. Yeah. So, one of them is you. Ah, okay, yeah. She's coming out uh, in February. I'm very thrilled, but I hate that it's going to be in two parts, so I stop it, Netflix. Just Stop it, please. Um, you can stop a lot of the things that you're doing at the moment, Netflix, but we don't really need to go into that right now. 
Your business then, uh, practice isn't working. <laughs> and then the other one, I know that you 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 didn't watch, but I I absolutely love them. Is uh, the last season? I I believe is the last season of Never Have I Ever. Oh, um, you know, I, it's not that I haven't. It's like I'm, I am vaguely interested. I just never got round to it. It seems sweet. I, um, it's very good. I've, it's so good. I have a I have a good friend who's um who's also a big fan of that show. Um, so I've, I've oh, maybe uh, at some point maybe after the final season comes out, I'll watch the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think you should definitely. I think you're gonna you're gonna like I'd it. I'd like it a lot. Yeah, I've seen a lot of things about it that have made me go. That would be a fun thing to watch. Yeah, it is. It's it's genuinely. It's just such. Once again, a very heartwarming and and uh, you know very fun little series, and that's uh, they pick up topics that I think needs to be spoken about a lot more. So I'm I'm very happy with it, and I I think it's gonna be the last season, the season. Four. I believe it's been mentioned uh, that it was that it's gonna be the last season. Yeah, yeah. So that one, and I don't think you watched this one either. Uh, but that's the third one in there is uh, Yellow Jackets. Oh, yeah. Season two is coming out. Uh, so I'm like I'm trying to remember that 1923 is... thing that's coming out at the moment that's a prequel to the Yellow Jackets right or is that no no that's for something no. else that's uh, the Yellowstone <laughs> I think that's what that's what keeps confusing me it's because they're both called Yellow something and I, I think I've just conflated them in my brain I'm like because I remember seeing Yellow Jackets coming out and then somebody being like oh this thing is on season 5 and I was like I swear that just arrived it's because it's a different fucking show <laughs> It's a different fucking show. I have been gaslighting <laughs> myself this whole time. <laughs> that makes sense. Yellow jackets, got it. Okay, no, I'm on board yeah, now. Yeah, I understand yeah. the difference now. So, so, so yeah, these these ones, I'm I'm I can't wait to watch them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I have more things on here that you don't watch. Uh, I I was just looking to. <laughs> uh, I guess I can go through. Um, uh. And say Succession season four should be dropping in the spring. Be good. So yeah. fucking excited, dude! The end of season three was bonkers. Um, <laughs> uh, honestly, insane. Um, and it's so funny talking about Succession to people who don't watch Succession because, like, you spend every week being like, "They're doing the shareholders meeting this week," and everybody's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" It's like, "No, you don't understand." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Things have got real spicy in the royal, uh, the royal Roy family. And I'm, I'm just, I'm so, I, they, they, I feel, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited to see where certain characters are going to stand, especially with each other, but mm. um, it just in, in general. Uh, oh my god, I'm just fa fucking fascinated. Let's go. Okay. Is I'm very excited about it. <laughs> and then the, in kind of the opposite direction, the other thing I'm looking yeah. forward to. This is a season three. I've got one thing that I've, uh, I've got on here that actually is like a limited series that's coming out. Um, on HBO, but I'll I'll leave that to last because it's um, it's new, you know, and it, it's not like a new mm. season of a thing. Mm. But the other thing, kind of in the opposite direction to the session, is that Ted Lasso season three should finally be dropping this year. Okay, because they have actually finished filming now. <laughs> I believe <laughs> it took them a really long time to get through it, but I think they managed it. Um, okay, and th th there are very conflicting reports, but we think this is the last season. Jason Stakes okay. said a lot that he only wanted to do kind of three seasons. He had the plan for three seasons and then other cast members have said maybe it might go on for longer, but we don't really know. But like, I think this should be the last season and I'm just looking forward to watching something very joyful again. I love Ted Lasso. Yeah. It's really great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only if way I care about football. <laughs> if it's really the last season, then I will watch the whole thing it's, once it's out. It's so fully. great. <laughs> Honestly, it's just, it is joy. It is such a joyful show. But in a way that doesn't, it recognises the idea of like, because he's such a positive person, but they really dig into that thing of like, what, I don't know, what the effects of like toxic positivity in that sort of way. And like not facing the things that are happening in your life and all that sort of stuff. And the importance of positivity versus like recognising and, you know, processing trauma, essentially. Oh. Um, and it's done it so well. And I just, I think him, uh, I'm just... Him uh, and uh, Hannah Waddington have uh, done Wadding Waddingham. Sorry, uh, Hannah Waddingham have done such a great job, like uh, helming it at the front. But the entire cast is so funny and incredible. I'm very, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, that's completely fine. Should I go one? next? Or I was like, yeah, no, yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. You, you you go. You go. I've done. All right, all right. Uh, the Mandalorian. 
Yes, I thought you'd bring this up. <laughs> I mean, baby's back, Amanda is back. I didn't realize it was so happy. soon. I, I, I saw it today. It's like the first of March or something, right? Yes, I know. I'm so happy. <laughs> This is very happy with me. <laughs> this is your reminder that if you've skipped Brit Book of Boba Fett, you're gonna have to go back and watch it for The Mandalorian yes. Season 3 to make any sense. Yes. Go on and watch Book of Boba Fett, please. Because otherwise you're gonna be like, hey, what? Um, Which is a very strange way to go about doing the story, but let's not, that's, that's the whole different... Yes. I think we kind of uh, went into that in our Book of Boba Fett episode back in yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it. Links. I don't know. <laughs> everywhere uh watch it. it we had elliot we did because... we had a great discussion yeah we always have elliot correct, to talk about star wars <laughs> every single time uh i'm just happy that they're back i'm mm -hmm. so happy i'm like and and you know obviously they're gonna get into uh things uh that are very uh mm -hmm. familiar uh to star wars fans like myself for example uh we, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna go to mandalore which is like Oh my god. It's like yes, please. We only did that in Clone Wars, which is the animated series. I'm very Rebels. sorry. I don't on I don't know if I'm gonna watch Clone Wars, but I am listening to a podcast which is dedicated to talking about Clone Wars. So I'm going to have at least a sense of yeah. things that are yeah, happening. I'm go. I'm slowly gaining new Star Wars knowledge and or kind of reopened a door that made me go, Okay, maybe I could I have this I I need like an emotional tether to be able to like get into things like this. You know, and it, Andor kind of created that a little bit for me. So, um, plus this podcast is great. More civilized age. I'm just, there you go. They're, there they're you very, go. they're very uh, good. So, so yeah, I am very excited. Uh, it's going to be very fun. It's uh, to by be any back. chance, Acolyte also on your list? Of course it is. I thought it might be. Of course it I is. was like, come on, surprised to see the slated release summer. I thought it would be coming out later. I don't just. I thought oh. it would be coming out later on in the year. Um, I mean, I was I was already surprised that they uh, said that we are already shooting for all like very early on. I didn't know that they started shooting it uh, until that photo dropped. And apparently, when they dropped that photo, it was already in the works for like weeks. They've been working on it for a, a while, but like I, yeah, yeah, I didn't think that they were that far into filming. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I'm when very... I saw I saw that it was coming out for summer, I was like, "That's quick." <laughs> I'm just so thrilled. Like, you know, I love the cast. Like, come on, it's they got some of the best people in there. Like, you it's know, got Amanda really Stenberg is like, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, beautiful, beautiful, such a good choice. Uh, I can't wait for that. And of course, my girl, Ahsoka, is coming. Oh yeah, uh, that's also and... this year, isn't it? I, I am I am now uh, doing my reading. Uh, now I'm reading Throne. Uh, Throne? Throne? I, I never know how to say his name. Basically, oh. he's big, big bad in yeah. uh, I've Rebels. been I've been hearing about Throne because they've been talking about him in the podcast I've been listening to. I can't remember who he is, but I know the name. He's uh, like, it, I'm watch, uh, watching, I'm reading his first book of how he got into the Empire and whatnot. And he's just fucking fascinating. So like, you know, easily he's, the he's, best. He's Admiral, right? Admiral Thrawn? He is. He's, okay. he's Admiral Thrawn. Yeah. Okay. I am Admiral thinking of Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn. <laughs> this makes sense. I just can't remember what... <laughs> the last episode I was listening to was about the movie. So I've gone back to the beginning because they did a whole bunch of episodes on Andor, which I really enjoyed. And I was like, you know yeah. what? I really enjoy these people talking to each other. I'll go back to the beginning and listen because they then they started with Phantom Menace and then they went through Attack of the Clones. Um... And now they're doing, they're actually getting into the Clone Wars stuff. Um, so they've started, they're on, they were talking about the movie last, um, but it, they are three hour long episodes a lot of the time. So sometimes I tune out a little bit by accident <laughs> and I miss who people are. Um, you're going to be fascinated with Ron because they're going to obviously introduce him live action for the first time in Ahsoka. So. Ah, uh, they they have to fucking nail his character, which you know they have. Like I have for now, I have six books about him. Uh, all of them were written by Timothy Zahn, and he's great, and and I really like his style. Um, but uh, you know, he was so great in Rebels. It's uh, I 
can't wait. I, I honestly, I wait. I, I can't wait to watch Ahsoka because a lot of the Rebels characters are going to be in a live action for the first time. Mm-hmm. Obviously for Ahsoka because I love Ahsoka. Uh, and then, and then Grand Admiral Throne. I'm like, yeah, bring it on, bring it on, just bring it on, all of it. I can't, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, but that's that's all the Star Wars stuff I have in here. I honestly Apparently. can't remember why they keep mentioning him in the, the I was trying to like maybe I could go find some like context. I can't find any context. Wikipedia is just giving me a bunch of like letters as far as I can tell. I'm like, nope, I'm lost already. I'm just gonna put that <laughs> There you go. There you this go. is too All deep right. in the Star Wars though. I don't understand any of it. I'm just I'm jumping out again. <laughs> okay. Um I feel like I should probably mention this next. It's on it's my been, list as well, so yeah. It's been sitting here the whole time. I'm very much looking forward to season two of Shadow and Bone. Because they're introducing some of my favourite characters, generally speaking. I know you're still not it's sold on, on Nikolai, but I'm it's just... On, I'm, it's the next on my list, on my reading list. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to see Nikolai and Tamar. <laughs> Tolia, thank you, Brain, and also Google. Um, Tamar yes. and Tolia, and then obviously Waylon. I'm really looking forward to seeing Waylon. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to people meeting Waylon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the book once I uh, put down Throne, which shouldn't be long now because I have like a hundred pages left. So uh, then I, I, I will because I have to read it because before the a bit, drops. So they've mentioned that they're not they're still not getting to the plot of of, of, of Six of Crows just yet because really? they want to be able to give it like proper credence in whatever narrative yeah. they decide to do, which is right because the the plot of Six of Crows is genuinely so very cool and it deserves honestly they deserve their own show. That's where we're at yeah. currently um yeah. they deserve their own show i'm just i'm hoping that they start making kaz darker um because mm. my boy is real fucked up and he <laughs> honestly it was they, one of the things i said when we when we talked about season one is that um as much as i feel like people who came into the show were like man kaz is kind of an asshole it's like no no, no you don't understand they've made him nice <laughs> he seems nice in this <laughs> Yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> in the book, he's like, oh, everybody around him is like, man, I don't know if Kaz likes me. And meanwhile, Kaz is sitting there like, Inej. <laughs> it's honestly very funny. He's like, I don't like Inej to nobody. <laughs> Into himself. He's like, he can't admit it, but okay, it's the whole thing. But I, I'm, I'm very excited for people to meet Waylon because Waylon is a very interesting character. And... The, he's so he's he's got like the perfect face for Waylon. Every time I picture Waylon, I now see him. Okay, I just it, it, okay. like it, he he's just embodies that like he's you know he seems very small and cute, but also he blows things up. And then obviously I'm just really looking forward to people meeting Nikolai, who um arguably not even arguably just facts he's the best man in the um uh, the Shadow and Bone trilogy. <laughs> of all the people who show romantic interest in uh, Elena, Nikolai is the best of them. <laughs> That's right. That's not that to say funny. that she should have ended up with him. I don't believe that at all. He's just the best man. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. I'm going to complain a little bit. Okay. I think I already mentioned this. I know Ben Barnes is beautiful. <laughs> Fucking book. Proper scars on his face. <laughs> yeah, God, you didn't this. damn it! <laughs> they, they God, really, they, damn it. It's like they they keep they they fuck his face up and they're like, we can't make it that bad. <laughs> we can't make it that bad. <laughs> like he needs to still be beautiful. <laughs> And I was like, when, when the trailer popped up, and then they released the picture mm. of him close up because it looks so cool. At the end of Shadow and Boon, I think they like they, they, they did great. it properly. And obviously, it, it makes like, sense for it to heal a bit. Because yeah. obviously that's those are fresh wounds. But like they've just drawn black lines on his face. Like I can do that. <laughs> I never started like seeing this, but I think I can do that as well. Like give him fucking scars. Make him ugly. It. Make him bit ugly. Like just because they didn't do it He's in the Punisher. And it, it, it 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 fogged up my brain because you know that's the whole thing of his character <laughs> in the comics. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> please don't tell me that that's all you're going to do. Especially when you fucked his face up in season one. And at the end, he just looked freaking awful. And then you were like, oh yeah, just a few tiny little, just tiny scars just here and there. And I'm like, oh, 
why would you do this? Petition <laughs> to fuck Ben's partner's face <laughs> off. I'm sorry, Ben. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like, come on. I'm just, I'm real excited about this one. I'm really hoping people watch it because you know what Netflix has been like recently. Um, uh, I, I really want more Crows content. It, it matters to me deeply um, to see more Crows content. That's, that's the I don't name. think we have to worry. I think I this should, is... I, it, I am worried. I'm going to keep, kind of I'm gonna, that's, I'm that's gonna gonna keep worrying. <laughs> I think it's, it's an easy, it's, it's easy. They, they're probably going to get a season three. Uh, renewal. I would be surprised There's if they would cancel it. There's been a lot of talk about the how well this does potentially greenlighting a Six of Crows spinoff. So I need this to go well. If that is actually the case, <laughs> I need it to go well. <laughs> it was, it was very, the first season was very successful. Help. Like, come on. Yeah, I know, but come Netflix on. has really moved its like margins since then, is the trouble. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, all right. Right. I'm going to say uh, the only Marvel show that I currently have on my list. Is it by any chance uh, Loki season two? No. Is it not? I've got Loki season <laughs> it's two. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's Secret Invasion, oh, uh, which yes. is one of my favorite comic runs, as I already talked about this. Uh, and I am, it, it looks dark. It looks gritty. Um, I think it's the best look uh, that Nick Fury ever got uh, so far. Uh, I I I love this dark dark Nick Fury. Like you know, this is very gloomy and very light. I like that. Amelia Clark is going to be in it. I fucking love Amelia Clark. Like she's so precious. I'm so happy she's gonna make her Marvel entry here. Uh, Olivia Coleman is in it. Oh, like, hello. I did not know that. That's that's Olivia Coleman. So yeah, Secret Invasion. Bring it on. We still don't know the exact date that it's gonna drop. Although. There have been rumors that we will probably get it in, in May, possibly, which would be very nice. Um, I really want to watch it. I, I love the trailer that they dropped for it, and I'm very excited to see uh, how they're going to turn this brilliant, brilliant comic round into this series. So, fingers crossed, it's going to be a very good one. Yeah, I've got Loki season two on my list. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> I'm I I want more Loki. I love Loki. It's kind of the only one of the TV shows because it's the only one that's gotten the season two so far. Is that correct? That's that's right, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. I, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I I love Loki as a character. And and like, it's, yeah, very exciting, and it looks fun and. Things that I there was something very interesting about when the the teaser that they released and I can't remember what it was about it now. All I know that in order for me to like him, it needs to be about him. I'm still, Not like the first one I'm still where he just fucking tagged along in his own fucking show, uh, and I was so pissed about that. like you know even thinking back about it, I'm like like come on. Come on. I need him to be in the center. Like it's his show. <laughs> I, I like Sylvie. Don't twist my words. I like Sylvie. But like yeah, no, let's I get, stop this I trend. I understand you entirely <laughs> and I get it. Uh either way, I get more Loki. That's the most important thing. <laughs> it's again, it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't really have a skin in this game other than I just hope it's fun and enjoyable. And I get to see Tom Hiddleston do the acting thing. I'm just saying that they need to stop this trend in Marvel where they pick up someone like Loki or Hawkeye or they uh, use it as like a characters that like yeah. pilot for a new character. Yeah. I get no, I don't understand yeah. it entirely. Yeah. They, it's like, they if you're gonna to be about this that. character, make it about the character. <laughs> exactly. Especially Exa as, like, I, they got I'm... I feel they got so close. Like so close to like really nailing it. And they didn't quite yeah. make it. <laughs> yep. And as I much as I that, loved it, that was my yeah. that was my only main problem with most of these shows. Like, hello, <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I get it. You want to bring in new characters? I do not mind that at all. But like, I've got a show on my list. It's an HBO show that I saw a little bit of a trailer to recently, and it just looks like it's one of those ones that like tickles me on the actual like drama aside. It's called White House Plumbers. It stars um, 
Jason Thoreau and I think it's Woody Harrelson. And it's about the guys who bugged the Watergate. Oh. Uh, and like uncovered the Watergate scandal, basically. Interesting. It's a limited series. Jason Thoreau's got like what I can only refer to as the most ridiculous moustache I've ever seen in my life. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it looks really cool and fun. And it's like a really interesting moment of history. And I think it could be really tense uh, uh, and mm. interesting. I, I, must, I, I have this like inkling in the back of my brain that it was made by somebody really interesting. Five part series that tells the true story of how Nixon's own political saboteurs and the Watergate masterminds E. Howard Hunt and G. Jordan Liddy were accidentally toppled the presidency they were uh, trying to protect. Uh, it's just it's, wow. it's very cool. The teaser seems very fun. I can't remember when exactly it's airing. Uh, it is at some point this year. I feel like it's soon as well. Um, March. Uh, now I am interested as well. <laughs> yeah, it, it was one of those ones that the trailer dropped and I was like, yeah, now I'm into this. Uh, I like this a lot. Um, I'm just I did that. I have it's weird in the back of my head. I keep thinking it might that the the creation of it had something to do with. Oh, it's it's great. The the guy who made it also wrote Veep. Okay, okay. So it's got that sort of. There's a sense of like absurdism. It kind of prevalent nice. throughout because the whole thing was kind of absurd. Um, as far as I you know the the little that I know about the whole thing, but um, yeah. It, it's got that sort of sense of like, um, I guess we have this information, but we really can't have this information because it's going to fuck us <laughs> like really badly sort of thing. Um, but it's like, yeah, five episodes uh, and it's tight. That's good. A little mini, a limited series. Yeah. I'm just really looking forward to it. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds good. That's, it's a, yeah, that sounds like a very good run. Hey, all right. I have to put that on my list. I like that. Um, okay. Last one uh, for this episode as well. Yeah, I had a feeling that that might be the case. I honestly also... wasn't even sure if we were gonna like talk about it that much, just because it's like coming out so soon. It's almost like yeah. how anticipated it can be. <laughs> I mean, it's it's literally coming out this weekend, so <laughs> you know you're gonna watch us on Thursday and no, then Sunday, it's and out. I'll be able to talk about this because you already know about it. But like by the time it happens, it will have already happened. When this episode comes out, I will have already seen the first episode. I got my ticket today. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping my ankle doesn't fuck me entirely, but... Hopefully not. Hopefully. I, I, I wish I could have gone, ankle but today. like... It was bad. Yeah. yeah, I do have to thank Lily, because she is kind of the reason we're going. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, very, I'm very excited. The whole thing seems very fun. I've been talking to a lo lovely man uh, at, at Fandom uh, who's been answering all my questions very kindly. <laughs> Um, uh, I won't be able to post any pictures until about 6pm because apparently that's when the event starts and all this stuff but um, by the time this comes out it, you'll be able to I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to post things on my Twitter Yeah, and you'll be able to Excellent. see cool pictures I'm taking my brother Excellent. Yes, good. That we will good. also be taking part in a video um, which will go up at some point um, yeah it'll be cool yeah, 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 hundred percent. Very much. Bring me something. <laughs> if I can. I don't. Do I honestly don't know because they've been very quiet about the details. So I don't know much beyond like the theme, uh, and uh, yeah. that apparently they maybe they're apparently serving snacks. <laughs> that's okay. Kind of oh, it. That's a good thing. Um, uh, in terms of um, you know, but I don't know much more beyond that. But I got I got yes. a limo with a ticket today. Uh, so that's very fun. It's very exciting. Yeah. Oh, I honestly wish I could have gone, but like it was such a short notice that I, I, I just couldn't. Yeah. I just couldn't make it. Uh, but I'm gonna be very sneaky, sneaky, uh, because are obviously you back? Are, you, I am... are you promoting yourself here? <laughs> yes, I am. Um, <laughs> uh, but so first of all, I am very excited for the show. I'm um, the show. <laughs> I still think that they can fuck it up. I'm still on that level. Obviously, we have to wait and see. And I hope that I am completely wrong about this. <laughs> I will say, but, you know, real quick, as a thing, it's been throwing me off. I think because I, I've played the game so many times, right, that yeah. Um, yeah. I keep expecting to hear lines from the game. And every time I hear something that's not quite the line from the game in the trailer, I'm like, mm. but in my head, I'm, I'm, I'm making a mental note to be like, hang on a second. 
This is not meant to be a carbon copy of the game. It is a television show that is essentially the same story. It's not going to be beat for beat the exact same thing. They've even got more stuff in it, like in yeah, the, yeah. the journey and all that sort of stuff. So I have to, I'm like, in, I'm rewiring myself to be like, stop judging it by the fact that it's not using the exact same lines as it's in the game. Here's the plugin. Uh, I'm going to be doing a separate show from ours uh, over on Couch Soup. It's going to be called The Rest of Us and it's going to drop weekly. And uh, I will have Erica and Nick with me and we're going to talk about every single episode that they're going to release of The Last of Us. Uh, it's going to come out uh, Tuesdays on Couch Soup, so you have to register for that if you want to see us certainly. Uh, and Wednesdays on Couch Soup's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it's going to be very fun. We are very, very excited. All three of us are huge fans of the games. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be critical of what we're going to see. Uh, and I'm going to spoil it. So, you know, if you come along, just it's an episode. Make sure you it's know an that. episodic podcast. Just it's going to be talking about it the episode. That was the plugin. <laughs> Please come along. I, we will still be doing this one as well. Mm -hmm. Just so we are clear, like I'm not, you know, leaving Katie behind. We wouldn't mm -hmm. do that. Or I'll be lovely little podcast. Rude. <laughs> just, you know, I just want to talk about the Last of Us a lot. Mm -hmm. And then, like, yes, please. By the time I think the end of the series comes around, I believe. We will be, we will be having uh, a very special guest to talk about. Well, oh, even thing. sooner. Is it sooner than that? Even sooner. Is we're it so? Is it, have... is it mid, uh, mid at the, the end of February? It's, so the season wouldn't have finished at that point. Oh, fascinating! I thought he was yes. coming after the season ended. No, even no. more interesting. Yes, I know. I'm so excited. I I just messaged him and he was like, "Yep, end of February, you can come to me." He's so great. Okay. He's the best. Uh, I got married to him very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Same. But, uh, okay, the only thing that pissed me off, and it came out <laughs> as news, I, I will have to talk about this. We already talked about this uh, with Nick and Erica, and they were on the same page with me, and I think you can agree. They're not going to have the spores uh, in the series, which is like, hello. Then what's it the point? Sorry, but how is it spreading so much if there's no spores? Oh, I was like, because uh, apparently they didn't want to do the masks, that like the gas masks uh, that much. And it was just a visual cue in the game. No, it wasn't. It it was a story point in the game. Like, that's how Joel That's how uh, he believes like, her, yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> talking about and in the second game that's oh, so how it Nora's makes it so much Ellie. less that makes it so much less dangerous exactly that doesn't and make then, any sense <laughs> on top of that the freaking bloaters that was in him right yeah they are throwing spores that's true now yeah, they do like well that's very confusing where did you get this information from they literally, uh, I think they posted it on Sunday, and I was immediately like in Who's our they? group chat on Discord. <laughs> oh, Neil. Oh. Like, literally, he said this, like, we're not going to have the spores. We decided this very early on. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> You're not going to have spores? Like, what? Everyone, like, like, literally everyone I talked about this and I, I waited to talk to you about it on here uh, was like that's so confusing well, anyway yeah. I'm still I'm empty uh, empty mind yeah empty mind mind empty brain empty no right. thoughts <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. like you mind. know these uh, what I said to to Erica and Nick is that these are the kind of changes that I just I just can't understand I don't get it <laughs> Like you know, they, it's... They, you know what? It's very similarly, but like not nearly as like integral. I've been thinking about this recently because I saw a post talking about the Martian. And we've kind of gone a little bit long, but that doesn't matter. I saw a post yes. talking to, to, talking about the Martian the other day, um, and it reminded me. Uh, I also it, apparently it has been like an X amount of years since I saw it for the first time. Um, uh, I got my hands on it and I watched it because I'm big fan of the book. I liked the movie. It's a very good movie, but I think as an adaptation, it could have done things that were better. 
Um, yeah, yeah. There's something the in the opening to that movie that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Where they, in the book, it changes from Soul 6, which is the day, the first day, to like Soul 18. They like push it way further forward. And I'm like, what was the point? What changes anything about changing the day? <laughs> like, what actually do nothing about that? That just seems so arbitrary to me. It certainly does nothing to change the timing. <laughs> It just, it just suddenly like move. It, they've just picked a different day. There's it, it, my other small like gripe is in um, Cloud Atlas. Um, there's a car that's described as being like rust orange, and in the movie oh, yeah, it's yeah, green. It. And I'm like, yeah. why? Just paint a car orange. It would have been the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the details right I... there. You could have just done it. <laughs> yeah. I mean. <laughs> I just I, I I really don't get it. Like I, I he like in Uncharted mm -hmm. or in, in uh Tomb Raider, all the treasure is usually connects to something supernatural mm -hmm. and they literally, except for the Angelina Jolie adaptations, they took that out. And I just don't understand why. Like if, especially in Uncharted, where it always turns out that it's like some kind well, of shake or something. One. Apart from it, that, it, they, they they kind of dropped it in four and and um lost yeah um, yeah yeah city which, which I didn't mind but but like you know I I never understand why <laughs> like mm. you know and that's why when I read this I was like I think some of the most atmospheric um horroristic and like just best parts of the Last of Us played. In I an swear environment, there's right? shots there of them wearing masks in the trailer. That's the thing. You you can see the mask in the trailer, and then they posted the picture where Joel is literally standing in front of uh, a, a clicker that's already you know uh, embodied in in the wall, and there's no spores, nothing, zero. I was like, ah. It's okay. Very confusing. I guess we'll see. It's very confusing. But we're gonna see. We're I gonna guess see. we'll see. <laughs> I'll see. So yeah, these were our most anticipated TV shows and movies uh, that have been confirmed year. to be releasing this year. There's a couple of things that haven't yes. quite have had like confirmed release dates, but they may be dropping this year. The so, name of few potentially off like means death season two by the end of this year. That, that I think that I think that might be the case. I don't know for sure, but they have finished filming. Uh, and uh, I saw a list that suggested that the Bear season 2 could be coming out this year and if it is, very excited for that but if it's not, then Pretender never said anything <laughs> Fair, fair uh, Yeah, so what's your most anticipated for this year? Whoa. Let us know in the comments, comments. Uh, Share the video, like it All of the above Engagement does really good things for any video or content creator that you like so please don't Engage. forget to subscribe <laughs> uh, and then push that notification bell and, and all that stuff. And we love you all. Thanks for hanging out with us. Goodbye. Goodbye.